I have 106 sausages, and at the end of this episode, I will have 320 sausages. Watch me. I will go lickety split. Wait, how do I get over there? <laughs> Wait, how do I get over there? I should have had a plan before I started the episode. There we go. Just had to go looping under there for a moment there. I had a moment of panic of like, how do get there? Howdy. Crunchy leaves. Hi. And what's the deal? Is there, is there a mechanic over there I should learn about? Let's just get you out of the way real quick. What's the deal over there? Is it just the 3D model? Is it just a normal layer? That does appear to just be a normal layer. So we'll just disregard this. Uh, there's just the normal, the dark spot over there to the right of the grill. It looked different from everything else, so I thought it might be a new mechanic, and the, especially since the level's called Crunchy Leaves. It just sounded like a new thing, but does not seem like a new thing. In retrospect. So I stab you, I can't climb the ladder. So that's not happening. Um... If I stabbed you from this perspective, I could climb the, the other ladder over there, but there's no reason to do that. That wouldn't make me get anywhere. Let's push you out of the way for a second. Let's think about stabbing this guy and climbing a ladder with it. That'll probably help me out in some capacity. No reason to do that. But I can pull it off. And then... Not sure what to, where to go from here. Well, that's not where I'm going for sure. So we can knock it onto the grill, accomplishing basically nothing. So let's... I'm going through the motions a little bit of like, Hey, look, a ladder! Let's climb the, let's climb the ladder with the, the sausage and see what happens. But that's not really going on right now. I don't currently have a way to get over there. If I could get something... Let's see... Just trying, to, just trying to get you out of the way so I can move on. Here we go. So I think I want to pull that over here somehow. The question is how I get over there in the first place. Obviously, most of these things need, just need to be dropped over there. And moved across the grill. I'm sure I'll be walking on them in, com in some capacity to make that work. I'm wondering... I feel like I'll pretty, almost inevitably I'll probably have to rotate this uh, one, on the, one on the left in some capacity. Unless I can make it work from that perspective, because right now it seems like it would get stuck. Oh, interesting. Right now, if I put something on the grill, it would have to get off the grill somehow. Because I can't... ...grill all of them. The, the grill itself is up against a wall, which means I can't just grill everything... ...right over it. They, like, I, there's no exit point after it. So, pretty much everything I grill has to get go across the grill and leave. That's a wrinkle. So last time, I took it to the, the top left side of the tower. But I've realized I can take it to the top right side of the tower if I stick it over here. Except now I can't climb the ladder. That does raise a new problem. Well, crap. Can't really bring it down in any real capacity. Without losing the spot where it's stuck, that allows me to stick it in the first place. Because I want to... Ideally... I think our damn it, let me get on the ladder. Ideally, I think I need a sausage right here, which I then stand on using this this ladder. And then when I'm on that ladder, when I stand on it, I would get on it and just like go walking off with it. Like we'd fall off and I'd roll for a few tiles probably. Then I'd probably walk across that thing and somehow manipulate the other sausage. And if it's rolling from left to right, the sausage would be out of the way. Don't know what the deal with this guy is though. That could be part of the twist here. All right, so bear bear with me. I'm trying to figure out why things exist in the form they are, and the big thing that's standing out to me is that this guy's horizontal. And that strikes me as odd. But I've been thinking, what if it can be used as like an extension cord for the situation? Because I just tried to squish that one up against the wall, and I couldn't reach it. Oops, we're gonna have some problems here. Need to rearrange a few things. Ah. Dealing with space is a problem sometimes. This should work out. So I was trying to stick it up against that other wall, so I could stick it in the right capacity so I could go up that ladder with it, but also be able to stick it on this side instead of this side. And I'm realizing I can probably use this thing as an extension for the whole... ...situation. Not that's too far. Allowing me to get the pressure required to stick it, but in a position that works for me. Because obviously the other one wasn't. 
Like that. Uh, so I would stick it right here. It allows me to climb the ladder. Loop around, take it off. And now I could walk on it. And I put it in the wrong position. Because I didn't judge the uh, perspective correctly. So we're going to try to get out this real quick. So this is what's lining up. There we go. And I'm going to want to not lose my fork when I do it. There we go. What can I use you for? Seems like I'd want to get you out of the way, right? Let's see, now when I ride you, if I start at the bottom... Yeah, that should work. Just knock you on down. Okay, let's go back a little bit. Push you from here. There we go. Now I can, I, if I center this guy, it'll give me something to get off on. So I can escape. Ta-da! You're cooked. And I'm trapped. Okay, so that might be a bit of a last step sort of thing. We'll see. Now the question... So what do I do with the last guy? Oops. Can I walk off here? I can. Okay. What do I do with that guy? Yeah, I'm a little unsure what to do now. So, both of these things need to be cooked. You can do that by just plopping them on and then dropping them, basically, and see how things go. So the question is, how do I proceed from there? I might be able to... Take this guy with me somehow. Well, I can't take this guy up the ladder at all with its current angle. So that's not happening, unless I can rotate it. In its current position, I could easily push it onto the grill, but that only cook half of it. Which is obviously a problem. Because if I do anything else with it, it'll then burn. And I don't see how I would undo that cooking to make it better. Oh, the one that I've placed made a bridge! Which I've already used, but I mean, like, the, cont the context here is that it's, it's, it's a bridge I can use in this capacity again. Oops. Push you a little further this first. I can use it the same way I used uh, the sausage a moment ago as an extension. So I can repeat the entire process I just did to cook this one also. Uh, we'll put you right through here. Push you down by one. Visit our local friendly ladder. Don't drop my fork. And there we go. So just like that, two of them are cooked. Now the question is how do I get that one cooked is the question oh the pillar up there and this thing has two ladders on purpose that's why this thing has two ladders is so you can do two different angles oh oh no that's probably not good maybe I can walk on it maybe that'll fix my current problem <laughs> nope New problems were have arisen. Yeah, I can't walk on this in a way that'll let me get back off of it, so that's not going to help me at all. Uh, I may need to position this push, position this better before I go up there. All right, let's just rewind. We'll go to before I walked this cook this one along. There we go. At this point, it's not in position yet, but so I can rearrange this guy, get him out of the way, so he doesn't get stuck. Uh, you should be good to go. Nope, I have to, be, I have to be on top of you. And I have to not do that. There we go. And now we should be able to roll this guy across. If I stab it. Which I can do... Where would I want to stab it? I'd want to stab it from above, basically. Yeah, that, that works, actually. Yeah. So right around here... Stab it from above. Uh, ladder is on the right, so I need to stab on this side. I need to get up against the wall. Hang on a second. That whole moving around being a problem thing is happening again. Alright. Aha! Um... Yeah, I don't see how this goes wrong. I feel like... Ah, uh, wait, no. Maybe maybe this will totally go wrong. Ah, uh, let's just test it. Let's just see what happens. And then I'll figure out how to fix my mistake afterwards. 
nope, I can totally walk off that, no bigger deal. Cool. Aha! Oddly gross sounds. How are we doing now? That was three more, so we're up to 109. I see one puzzle over here. Uh, this is the bridge that le Ooh, leads me to the next location. That's all meadowy. Hello, meadow. Am I missing any other puzzles besides the one that's obviously over there in the corner? This seems to have been a relatively short... Uh, I guess we'll call them worlds. It had like five or six puzzles, I'd say. I don't remember how many, sol how many I solved last episode. I do mostly solve... This is one of the only games I play where I do ep each episode as, a, as its own separate session. Because I normally record multiple at a time for a game. Gator Paddock. But this specific game is a game where I, uh... I usually take a break after each session, because it's just like, just a lot of stuff to think about. Only one sausage this time. But I have to figure out how to get over there somehow. Uh, once it's on the grill entirely, you just have to slide it once and you're pretty much set, presumably. But the obvious problem is I can't just do this. Because that cook, because that breaks, that, uh, causes that problem. So we don't want to do that. So it'll involve these ladders in some capacity. Let's go ahead and just bring it over to the ladders, which is the only real detail on the map right now, which means it must be in somehow involved. And we'll try to figure out what I'm doing here. So. Climb up you. And I can use you to climb up here. Haha! -ha. Don't know why I would do that, but that's what it accomplishes for now. Huh. I assume there's a reason I want to be all the way up top. We probably want to move the ladder... Oh, yeah. We probably want to get the sausage... Ooh, we'd have to get it rotated, I think. So I think what I'm ultimately going to do... Is we're probably going to take the sausage and stick it right over here. So that it can go on top of the the, uh, the bush over there. And then I'll climb up here and walk across with it. At that point, I'll wa probably walk on top of it for a bit. Oh, but that would be a problem, because... Uh, how would I proceed from there? Alright, this is, might be one of those ones where I, I, I uh, solve it by doing, basically. I don't know if I'll have a full plan while it's happening. As opposed to just sort of... ...finding it as we go along. So let's think about this. The, the big thing... ...is that I need it to be up and down like this. Because then I can just roll it sideways and stick it in and we win. And they... If we reverse engineer the solution here, they have this thing overhanging here. The only reason I can see it, why they would have that overhanging is so that it, it could influence something. I thought about the idea of creating a bridge and walking over here, but if I was a vertical... Not vertical, but if I was an up and down sausage and I was walking on top of it on top of this bush, I could only go left and right, and then that would, that's that. I couldn't get off it, there's nothing to use. So the fact that there's an overhang here makes me think we want a sausage pompadour again. So I just need to, to get a way to rotate it. And as of right now, that causes me a few problems. Let's see. Which side would I want to face it from? Let's just try stabbing it against the bush. Alright. Uh, both ladders are going to be on my right, so I have to stab it from this side. And then at this point, we can... ...do something. I'm going to want to remove it for myself somehow, but it's going to have to be on altitude. But in order for that to happen, it's going to have to happen, like, right here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to want to climb this ladder and then unhinge it directly below me. And then I'll climb that other ladder to get up from under it, and that'll pompadour it. So I've used the wrong spot. Oh, this opening. This opening is going to be where I can stab it, because from here I can stab it from above. Uh, problematic that's from this side, because it'll cause ladder issues, but that- Oh yeah, that's the, that's why there's a shape this way. That's why this whole thing is shaped this- like this- like this is to allow that specific solution. Um... Whoa. Well, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um... Awkward. To go backwards, I'll get through. Alright, let's try to rotate it so I can move forward. Come come to me, Pompadour. There we go. We have Pompadoured it. So now I can actually enter the chamber itself. Hello, chamber of po bo boss puzzleliness. So I need it to come off like this. 
Um, start hitting it against the thing. The question is, how do I get it off my character? That could cause me some problems. Oop, well, there we go. It's off my character. <laughs> kind of stumbled into that one. But, th bam! Puzzle solved. I did, I, I did not have a plan for the part where I was going to get it off me. I just kind of moved around. Oh, it came off! Well. We could review the recording to see how that happened. Hello. You have a secret for me? Every lesson, uh, every learned person would write a memoir in their final years of life. Um. Can't move you right now, so I'd have to stab you to continue. So we'll do that. Where's our bridge location? Right here. Oh, I have to find a way to rotate it. We're doing that right now, huh? Okay. So I need to, so we have to we have to solve our way into the next level, probably using one of the ladders around here. Um Whoa. Resetting puzzle did not take me to the beginning of getting to the sausage necessarily. Let's try stabbing it from this angle. I think that'll give me a bit more luck with some of these ladder shapes. I can't pull it off on anything there. You're a good option. Alright. So I need to get it on top of my head now. Where can I find- oops. Where can I find two ladders that are on the same platform together? Well, that's actually a good spot right over there. I can go down the ladder next to me, and then go back up over here. We'll use the fork to push it. There we go. So now I should be able to come up from under you, and now it's on me! Crap. Uh, if I go this way, I can get off safely? Yeah. Alright. Yes. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. Wow, that went perfectly. <laughs> Absolutely. So where's this next place looking like? It's a... Meadowland? Of some kind? Alright. How big is this one? There's one here. Uh, at least one puzzle over there on the right. Just trying to get a feel for how many we're looking for in this zone. Uh, one on the left. That's that's three so far. Four. Five, six, seven. I think this is already a longer zone than, than the last one we did. Um, sorry, I'm having a little trouble moving my character. There might be another one in the corner down there, but I don't know if I can move that way. And then over here, there might be an eighth. Nope, that's just an end point. So for now, I think I'm going to say seven. Oh. Might be eight. Eight. Nine. Ten. This is immediately a longer zone then. Interesting. Yeah, I, I want to say the last one had like five or six. Eleven. This one goes on for a while. Ooh. And there's two unlockable sausages as a result. Alright, so now we know the end point is off here on the right. So I think as I I think I'm gonna try to solve these uh, puzzles mostly left to right then, just for the sake of being thorough. I mean you have to be thorough regardless, but it's a good way of organizing your progress. It is surprisingly hard to get around here with all these awkward sausages in the way everywhere. Awkward sausages. All right. We started around here. Let's start the the initial overhang location. Ah. Gotta make moving awkward for me, huh? Alright, buddy. Show me what you got. The Gorge. What is your deal? Okay. So this guy seems like he's pretty much designed to be stabbed. I'm gonna say from this angle, because it's how that's how it fits around the rock. Oddly enough, that intro scene feels like the exact this in particular feels like the exact scenario where we encountered how you stabbed for the first time ever. Where you just had to learn that in order to proceed. Okay. Now they're both on the ground. Was that a good idea? I feel like I'm getting a little trouble here. I'm, I'm off now. Um. Maybe I want it to go down there. 
Like stick it in here, perhaps? Is there a reason to do that? So I need a way to get this off. It's stuck on me and I can't continue. But if I stick it up there, I can't... The problem is if I, st if I, I can easily pull it off by being up here and go, haha. Problem is I couldn't get it back. At that point it's sticking out and it would stick out like this if I went this way and it, everywhere else it can't move lengthwise in that fashion. So I'm wondering if moving these in a specific way would allow me to proceed. If I could create a solid piece that would help me proceed. Um, don't have a great plan right now. So, oh. That could be a problem. We'll see it through for now. Alright, it gives me the option of being able to stab it from this side. Oh, never mind. Yeah, there's no problem then. I can just get it in around that way. Uh, you have a problem because you're kind of stuck in that little spot over there. Can I nudge you? I can. That improves... Not necessarily. I was thinking that might improve our situation, but it does not seem to be the case. I can stab it like this, but then I can't get it off. Which causes me all new problems. This, so the best I can do right now is get it right here. Which is obviously a problem, because it needs to, needs to leave and get to the magical grill of happiness. The happy grill for... Because happy girls come to California. Um. Alright. Alrighty. So, does that imply that there w I was not supposed to knock it in that capacity? Was there a way to handle that without knocking it in the gorge where it gets stuck? Because I'm open to suggestions, brain. Up here... You know what? I'm going to have to reset, because I don't remember where it started off, so I'm just going to see how that compares. Oh, I think I see what I can do. We probably we use the sausages as a kind of a hook. So if I do it just right, I could probably pull back on the sausage to pull it like this. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. That no makey sensey, my brainy brokey. That's that's not what I'm going for though. Oh, so the one that fell in the gorge is already on this little lip here. So, so as far as I can tell, I can't reach it in any real capacity to do anything helpful with it. So how would I make it not be stuck in here? That is the question now. Yeah, what would I do about that? Seems awfully stuck. I can't go on that little lip down there, that bottom one, to try to knock it down. So as far as I can see, there's no way to, to knock it down. It's just kind of stuck there, being a sad, sad thing. Alright, so I'm gonna get back to where I was before then. Oops. Let's get back to roughly where I was before. And I'll see how I can solve from there. Oops. May have made a terrible mistake just now. Alright, so maybe I don't want to use it as a... Maybe I don't want to hook it in to proceed like that. Because I kind of need this to get down. So I think I'm mostly on the, wrong, the right track with this stuff. The big question is just, how do I get that guy out of the gorge? It has to go somewhere. So if it's... If it's stuck there, we're doomed. The only thing that comes to mind... Is that if we stick it all the way down, maybe we could stab it. But how does that help? I don't think it helps. Alright. So, I am blowing my mind a little bit here thinking about this, but I think... I think I want to lose my fork. I think that's what we're learning here. So I lose my fork, and just push it a bit. I have to go backwards down ladders. And then I can just walk right through here, and it's like, haha, it's safe! But now I don't have a fork, so I can't, like, push it to the right. By, by spinning like this. I'm just my weird little Cartman body. Uh, which caused me new issues, because now I can go, haha, the fork. But I can't pull it out of the sausage now. That gives me a whole new problem. That gives me a whole new problem. So, 
how would I get it off? At this point, I would think I want to take this guy up here, the long one. Probably stick it down against this guy, because he'll take up these two spots, and then I could slide up past them and rip the sausage off, but I'm not really sure. I'm not sure if it'll really work out that way. But yeah, I think I've had a breakthrough. I just don't necessarily know what to do next for sure. Yeah. This is the best I can think of as a solution, I just don't know where to go from there. So we're on the situation with the fork being removed. So first of all, let's get this guy pushed up real quick. Is that good? Yeah. So I had a ridiculous idea, which is... What if we try to pompadour it a bit? Oh man. Uh, did I want to grab it from a different position? I just feel like there might be a way to use... Maybe not like this. I'm missing a detail here. So right now the fork is out. Is that all I needed? Maybe that's all I needed. Probably was overthinking something again. Let's not concern ourselves too much for a moment. Let's just try to get this guy out of here. Poor guy looks trapped. Alright, lengthways guy. Get your lengthwise ass out of here. We have succeeded. At length wisitude. Trying to carefully orient myself. Here we go. Alright, those guys are both safe. Now the concern is how do I get this guy out? Oops. So we're gonna wanna stab him from this side so we can maneuver around. At which point I need a way to get him off. Ew, weren't we stuck here before? Oh, I can go all the way through. Hang on a second, I can go all the way through the entire sequence from that perspective. So let's just try to move these guys out of the way. A bit. I'm gonna try not to push them against each other, because if they push... If I push them directly against each other, we might have some issues with, uh... Them I might have trouble separating them, and I might want to separate them. So just preemptively, let's try to avoid that problem. And get through you guys safely? Yes. Ow. Oh. Need to stab you from the other side, didn't I? Oh, that's a problem. Okay. I think I may need to use a trick here. I'm not sure. Do I have a plan? I think I need to stab you, because we need to get you past here. Then I need to get you off. Oh, right. I can use this guy. That'll get us safe. Okay. Uh, you're in my way right now. You, whatever I, had, I was thinking about did not pan out for you. Let's just get you out of the way a little bit. That was the bad plan. Alright. Let's try to get you carefully through here. Um, try not to get anything stuck. I'll push you over one. Yeah, I can, re I can retrieve that just fine. Um... Damn it. <laughs> just trying to do a limited space and not get anything stuck in a way where I can't get it back. Oh. Almost there. Almost there. Level's got attachment problems, so what's it, what it's got. Alright, so... If I stab you straight down now, we should be able to move our way through here. At which point I can detach you, like so. At which point, I don't know where to go from there. <laughs> um... If we want... Uh, I can't grill it in its current state, which is a problem. Let's see, the other ones... Oops. Oh, I can't really get out of here, can I? Maybe I want to just stick it back in there. Um... For the other guys, I'm gonna want to stick them... How am I gonna get those ones through, either? Oh, bother. <laughs> um... Oh, this is a nightmare. This is indeed a nightmare. Okay. So the issue here is that... The easiest way to grill these guys is to have them in the position that these two are in right now. Where they're up and down. You just roll them across and you're done. The problem is there's a post in the way. So how would I get through that? I guess... I would have to stab them... 
on their left side. So I can hook them on that little island in the bottom left corner and pull them off. So I'd ha I mean, I'd have to stack them, stag stab them from the bottom side, because I can anchor them off. The problem is I can't get them through... I can't get them past this area if I stab them that way. Because they won't be able to get past that choke point where they'd have to be sticking out in the other direction. Alright. Let's get the sausage out of the way, and I can experiment with this a little bit. Alright, so to get you through what's going on down there, I have to stab you here. But then to get you off of that, I need to... Oh, that totally works. That's all I need to do. Never mind. So that was me overthinking that, that part of the puzzle. So for now... I'm just gonna recklessly solve both of these guys. I can just loop around for you. We're just gonna get these guys out of the way. Here we go. I didn't I didn't consider the idea of looping all the way around like this. There we go, those are both solved. I don't think that's necessarily how you finish this level, but I'm just gonna do that preemptively and see how it goes. The next question is how do I solve this last sausage? And the, I, it's worth considering whether or not this ladder is part of the solution, or if this ladder is just here to let you get back to the starting point, which seems like inevitably that part has to be true too, because the starting point is back there. But how do I get that guy over here in a way that grills it evenly is the problem. And I would say it probably involves rotating it in some capacity, which is probably impossible to do with the other two sausages already cooked, so I probably have to bring them back and do something clever. Maybe involve- oops. Maybe involving the fact that I can climb up here and maybe hook it on something? So I need, I need to try to find a way to make it lengthwise. Alright, I might need to start over. So what I'm about to show you is something I actually did on accident. I'm gonna- I call it the hair pick. Is the best thing I can call it, I think. See, I was pushing it like this before, and it would fall off. And it's like, haha, it's on the ground. But what I did on accident is I pushed it from here. And now it looks like a pompadour with a hair pick sticking out of it, which is hilarious to me. <laughs> I've got mad steez right now. So anyway, I'm going to want to... Let's see. So I believe... If I'm careful here... I can do it just right where I can knock it off. Like... That, like that basically. And everything's stuck, and I'm free. Currently have no uh, fork, so I get to do that. And then I can simply push this along to grab it again. And it, un and it unprops, just like that. And I think the puzzle might actually be solved at that point, to be honest. I think, th wasn't I able to just stab these guys horizontally and, and cook them like it was no big deal? I think that's what was going on earlier. Let's just try to get one of these guys down there. Oops. Tragic forking accidents are happening left and right. What? Well, how will we save these people from themselves? Uh, yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. So I guess that was the one little detail was to make my the pompadour strike happen again. All right. Now it's just a whole bunch of awkward finicking around with the uh, fork to move around properly. There we go. I don't- there's no variation between the sausages, so there's no reason why this shouldn't just work all the way through. So we need to get you out of the way. There we go. I can push you down from above. And we're free, right? Right? No more tricks? Alright. That was one of those cases where it felt like the level wouldn't be over yet, but it totally was over. I just need to get the- it was just a trick to get the, uh... The fork and the uh, sausage on my head at the same time. Okay, my brain's dissolving now. I'm gonna take a break.